Montana is going to be greatly missed by everyone and we love her so very much. On November 15th at 4.30, two females were traveling in a vehicle heading home after a big dog walk uh, at Big Hill Springs, which is uh, just west of Airdrie. The vehicle lost control and was struck by an oncoming truck. EMS and Rocky View Fire were called and the first vehicle on the scene was staffed by Jamie Erickson. Despite being a cold evening, Jamie stayed in the vehicle for over 20 minutes, ensuring the patient's C-spine was stable and that her airway was clear. On her way back, she expressed the grief, frustration to her partner, knowing that tonight, a family would likely lose their daughter, sister, and grandchild. A short time after arriving home, there was a knock on the door. It was the RCMP. Jamie's daughter was at the Foothills Emergency Room. With very little information at hand, the RCMP rushed Jamie to the foothills. On entering the room, to her horror, she found the girl who she had sat with in the back of the crumpled vehicle, keeping alive so a family could say goodbye, and due to the extent of her injuries was unrecognizable, was Jamie's own daughter. Jamie unknowingly was keeping her own daughter alive. As both a parent and a first responder, I can tell you this is beyond a nightmare that any of us could have conceived. Anybody who knew Montana, they'd call her a firecracker. She would love fiercely if you were her friend. Um, she would love you to the end of the world and back and she would do anything for you. She was a fighter and she fought until the day that she died. All first responders share the horrible fear that we will have to attend a call where the patient is our parent, our spouse, our friend, or God forbid, our child. Seeing tragedy and horrific loss is just the reality of what we are forced to encounter every day in uniform. We choose this. We choose to be the calm where there is chaos. We choose to carry the burden of those who are sick, injured, or in danger. But this comes at a cost. Emotional trauma for first responders is real, and it's deep. Jamie herself is no stranger to job-related PTSD. She had attended a pediatric call that affected her to the point that she was fearful of every move her daughter made. Jamie's traumatic story is affecting first responders across this country. It brings to light once again that this horrific nightmare could happen to any one of us. This is why today we stand together as one family. This is why we need to stand together every day. I know a lot of um, people here I've worked closely with, they know my daughter through me, so they feel my pain. Um, but I also know that all of my coworkers who are um, parents as well, they know that this is our worst fear and I know that they don't wish it upon anybody and they understand even though it's not their daughter it is their daughter and they understand the pain and the hole that I feel in my heart um, and their support is is amazing and it's overwhelming nobody wants to go through anything like this and I just want my baby girls memory to the bond and I want everybody to know how much she meant to us and how much she means to um, all of my co-workers. In the end Montana was able to give one last gift and she was able to uh, donate her organs. Of her organs, two of them that were donated were um, life-saving and we're so happy to know that our baby girl is living on through others and she has in the wake of this tragedy she has saved other people.